So going back to our 20 year old who we have given cardiotoxic chemotherapy to, his heart is going to be damaged by this drug and as a result his kidneys are going to start under excreting water and presuming he continues to eat and drink as normally, he is then going to end up in a fluid overloaded state because he's putting the same amount in but not peeing the uh, uh, right amount out anymore. So he will go into a fluid overloaded state. And when he is in that fluid overloaded state, because of this problem with his heart, we could then diagnose him with heart failure. So again, to emphasize, heart failure means a person is fluid overloaded due to a problem with the heart. And there are loads of different examples of diseases of the heart, all of which can lead to heart failure. It's not just this example of giving cardiotoxic chemotherapy to someone. So in these individuals with heart failure, these are the people whose fluid overload can be successfully treated with furosemide. You give the drug either orally or intravenously, and it stimulates the kidneys back again to excrete more fluid, correcting this under-excretion that is resulting because of the problem with the heart. So these are the people for whom furosemide is actually going to be a beneficial drug. People whose kidneys are intact but are under excreting water due to a problem with the heart. And it truly does work. It is quite incredible to behold actually when you see someone who is in florid fluid overload due to heart failure and you then watch them shrink after they've been given intravenous furosemide. It usually takes a few days to actually see the marked difference, uh, but it is incredible to watch. So overall, it is a very powerful drug, furosemide, when used in the right situation. So finally, before we end this video, I'd like to just say something about pulmonary edema. So pulmonary edema is something that can happen to someone in fluid overload. So when someone's in fluid overload, it's not just the muscle tissue and the subcutaneous fat tissue that becomes overloaded with fluid. The organs of the body can also become overloaded with fluid, and this has particularly deadly consequences when it affects the lungs. The lungs are obviously quite soft, squishy tissue that's full of a lot of air, and they are very vulnerable to getting overloaded with fluid when someone is fluid overloaded. And this is a condition called pulmonary edema. And this can lead to respiratory failure because, of course, when the lungs are full of fluid like this, the normal gas exchange isn't going to occur as well. And therefore, you can end up with derangements of the level of oxygen and carbon dioxide within the blood due to this. And if that gets bad enough, that can lead to death. So pulmonary edema is a very deadly consequence of fluid overload. So this is why having a drug that's able to treat fluid overload due to heart failure, which is one of the most common causes of fluid overload, is so important so that we can treat the pulmonary edema, which can be deadly if left untreated.